Hello and welcome. Uh, we are live. Pascal Fintoni's with me. How are you, Pascal? I'm very good. Always the best moment of the month for me. Our kind of get together to talk about the best tech and apps to make life easier as a small business owner. Absolutely. So today <laughs> it's April's selection. Uh, in fact, it's April Fool's Day, isn't it? Uh, I was. It uh, did we we you got this morning? Did anything did get you? No, I'd forgotten. Uh, well, I don't know unless you tell me. I don't know which day of the week it is and which you know which number it is. Well, I I used to be an optician and uh, uh, and I got an email this morning and I totally fell for it. Edible contact lenses. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole world of sustainability it was you can just eat them afterwards and they're full of vitamins and i was reading it and i'm like no and i kept reading it, it was, oh it's blubbered april fool's day anyway um we're talking about the 20 top tech and apps uh, that your business needs or perhaps your marketing department needs. We're going to focus on first impressions and enhancing customer experience today. Uh, we're live on Facebook. We're live on LinkedIn. We are live on YouTube. If you're listening, you're on the podcast. Thanks for being here. It's brilliant that you're here. Um, and if you're listening live, drop us a comment. We'll happily uh, see what you've got to say, see if we can introduce you into the show. Um, so, Pascal, we've got four sections today. Uh, we've got the uh, planning, the improving the impact of content. We've got the improving the impact of online meetings. I've got tracking results, all about first impressions and enhancing customer experience. So should I let you get cracking with the first segment? Yes, and thank you again for inviting me to really give you the highlights of the research that Roger and I pulled together. So Roger and, uh, and Edwards and I are the co-host of the Two Geeks and the Marketing Podcast. For the last year and a half, we've been studying um, marketing tech and apps. We have reviewed now just over 250. Now, I hasten to add to our viewers and listeners, I'm not asking you to use 250 different apps and texts for your business. I'm asking you to be open-minded to options, a handful of those that can make a big difference to your business. So in terms of um, you know, what I'd like to do, and I'm really glad that you introduced yourself because the problem is we speak so often <laughs> that I forgot to introduce you. <laughs> That's quite right. So, what, so what I'm really, gonna... I'm really glad about that. And and just to just to recap, the name of your podcast, if people are wanting to find yours, a two gigs and a marketing podcast. We just published uh, two days ago, episode seventy two. Brilliant. I shall let you carry on, Pascal. Okay, what I want to do then is bring visuals as we've done in the past. And please, can you let me know whether or not the screens is showing that mark, marketing tech logo? It's there now, yeah. yeah and so super. if you're listening, you're not going to miss out too much. No. But if you're watching, you've got enhancements. And it's great. Caroline Wilson's just joined us. Hi, how are you? On LinkedIn, I've got someone on Facebook. Can't see your name, um, but I'll see if I can pick that up shortly. Pascal, I'll let you carry on. Thank you. We're going to start with um, planning, coming up with new ideas and researching. And we're going to begin with the essentials. So to begin with, all of us, at least tw once or twice a year, should do a test of our mobile site using the Think with Google. Just go online, use the Google search box, test my site. And please remember, this is a report that is very generic in nature. That could be a great starting point, Johnny, for a conversation with your team and with your website developer as well. So I'll give you an overview of that experience and first impression on the small screen but I think by far the most important test you can do is called grow my store which is also with think with Google now you may not have a store you and I Johnny, we don't have a store but I will say the report is right for all businesses what I love about this report is how detailed it is you go into so many different facets of online customer experience whether you're b2b or B2C, you're gonna get a great, great report full of little highlights. Now, looking at inspiration, a third option for today is Jungle Scan. Jungle Scan is like the ultimate search engine for what is selling and doing well on Amazon. Now, once again, you may not have an Amazon store, you may not have any products, but there's something to be learned about the way in which retailers, online retailers have shifted to digital and how they present information, how they engage with customers. So Jungle Scan, just to understand the mood of the marketplace, Johnny, but also to learn about how information is being displayed. We're going to continue with coming up with new ideas and, and researching and ways to capture your thoughts. So this one was actually discovered by Roger 
and this is my mind which is a very easy to follow and use mind mapping uh, platform or to be used on the laptop from a company called cryptobees.com and you can drop all those ideas you can drop all those learning points and all those um, kind of the advice you're given by google and then you can put together a lovely action plan then from the mind map you need to move on to you know putting deadlines and putting good milestones and I would recommend a company called teamgent.com. You may remember some of you from your kind of corporate days, the joy of using Excel to try and put together some Gantt charts. Forget that. Use Team Gantt. Uh, it's free. They have many options and it's very, very easy to, to use. And of course, you can share that. So I think for me, the, the key message for this first selection is get inspiration from a kind of a report, get inspiration by others across different sectors, capture your ideas into a mind mapping uh, software, and then organize your to-do list with this lovely Gantt chart. Excellent. It's Lynn Marshall that's joined us on Facebook. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Um, and just to remind you, if you are watching or listening, first of all, um, all of the apps and tech that we talk about are going to be in the show notes available afterwards. Uh, so don't worry if you can't hear quite what's being said or if you can't see uh, see exactly. So that will be clear in the in the show notes. Uh, this is about the first impressions and enhancing customer experience. It's the top 20 tech and, uh, uh, tech and marketing apps that Pascal and Roger have researched over the last month uh, that very kindly in a mini series is sharing with m my audience uh, every month. Uh, delighted to have Pascal here. Uh, so we've covered the first section, which is the planning and coming up with new ideas, leading into the next section, which is, which is improving the impact of written and visual content. Yeah, and this is all to do with my work, Johnny, where people clearly are neglecting their websites. And I want you to reconnect with the websites, the content and so on. I know that social media is a far more interesting environment. I know that on occasion, SEO is getting the spotlight. But going back to this idea of being a first time visitor, and what can you do to evidence that you care about me as an individual, but also you care about my website visit. So I want to people to reclaim some of the, the communication by introducing or reintroducing online brochures, Johnny. What we, you and I used to do back in the days before the web became what it is now, where well, we had to print information and organize uh, it with foot, strong photography, good copy and so on. So to begin with, all of you will have gazillions of photos on your mobile phones and probably copy uh, spread across laptops and more. I want you to um, start to create those online brochures by maybe trying something called e-zine. So this is how you would do it, Johnny. Go on Canva, create this online brochure, which will become a PDF, no doubt, and then use easing to convert this into a flip book, something that would be animated where you can grab the corners with a mouse or with your finger on the touch screen and literally flip through the pages and consult the online magazine or the online brochure. I think that's a lovely one uh, to, to look into. That's probably quite relevant for people working in B2B. For B2C, but potentially also for those offering services, I want to remind you of a company called Publitus. So Publitus um, are really the go-to enterprise solution for online brochures and online magazines. But what they can do superbly, they can also put together some pop-up boxes with other product information. And excitingly, they can link the pages to shopping carts and more. So creating not only a um, kind of almost digital version of going through the pages of a magazine, but linking to uh, you know information, whether it's within the brochure itself or linking back to your website. But I think for me, the key message is, you know, you have all the words, you have all the pictures. It is now time for you to design an experience. So that's what I was thinking through there. And then just to kind of close, people will say, well, I can't draw or I can't do Im um, images. And guess what, Johnny, nor can I. But there are so many solutions online. And this one was found by Roger. Drawkit.com will offer you access to free illustrations that can really make your online brochure or online magazine look very unique. And you can, of course, add you know, photos from platform we've discussed last month. But I think this idea of 2D and 3D illustrations using kind of nice colors and creating a sense of identity to your brochures would be um, quite important. So here it is, a selection to vastly improve and reuse your words and your images. Excellent. Thank you. We've got uh, David Pickup on LinkedIn saying hello to us. Hi, good to have you here. Thanks for joining. Uh, just to remind you all, this is 
apps, the top 20 apps and tech for first impressions and enhancing customer experience. We've covered planning. We've covered improving impact. It's now time to talk about improving impact at online meetings. Yeah, so a couple of options here that um, I've been researching. So if you're a Mac user, and like me, you do quite a few show and tell where you share your screen and you want to demonstrate something, you sometimes need to highlight the mouse or highlight the cursor. So for Mac users, we have something called Mouse Posey from a company called Boinks.com. And again, the URL will be in the show notes. And what is lovely about this feature is if you use the mouse to highlight an area of, let's say, a software or a product page and so on, then what's around the cursor will be kind of bright and everything else will be darkened to uh, emphasize even more um, what you're looking at. Now, I must confess, um, Johnny, I've not used a PC computer for quite some time now, but I did find an alternative called Pointer Focus. So it's commonly called pointerfocus.com, which will again will allow you to do just a bit more with your mouse and your cursor as you want to demonstrate something. But moving on quickly to this idea of adding value to your video meetings, to your online conversations and so on, it's sometimes interesting to look at very early solutions, almost in beta version. So I want to introduce you to vizzy.fm, V-I-Z-Z-Y.fm. So this is all to do with podcasting. And my position would be for private podcasting. Think of them as online courses or online conversation that you want to provide to your to your customers. And what VZ allows you to do, which I think is fascinating, they only been launched uh, a few weeks or a few months ago, you can then um, attach visuals, photography and comments to your audio content. So almost creating a storyboard which I think is fascinating because uh, what wouldn't you if you have done all the hard work in recording your, your comments. In terms of um, audio, the other thing that was coming across was this company called Momento. So Johnny, you are a podcaster. Am I right in thinking so? Well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be moments within some of your episodes which are just, you know, great. There's maybe that, that one nugget of information. There may be the one question, maybe the one answer you're getting. And it would be so lovely to be able to timestamp that and share that moment with your audience where you might be able to do that very shortly with Momento. Again, beta version, invitation only, but I think we should know about it and we should be supporting startups whereby you will tap a moment in your podcast and share that on as a hyperlink to your audience. The one I'm really excited about to introduce you to today is called Fathom, Fathom Video. Do you do quite a few video and, and Zoom calls and team calls and that kind of things? I certainly do. Yeah, we all do. All and day. Do you, do you find that, you know, the writing of the meeting notes sometimes is just a bit laborious, a bit time consuming, and sometimes you've got so many back-to-back -back Zoom calls, it's actually quite tricky to make it fit. Well, Fathom Video, spelled F-A-T-H-O-M, is the solution. You will be able to capture and record meeting notes live as you're having the Zoom meeting. So what you do, you cover the account, you create labels. You know, some of you may be able to see the visuals like action, like uh, insight, like to do, like um, to look into, to research. You can create some labels. And as people are having a meeting or as you are giving your advice, Johnny, you can literally label the moments in your conversation where it's an action, where it's advice, where it's to do, where it's to, to um, kind of research. And then after the Zoom call, Fathom will repurpose all that into an email for you, sending the meeting notes to your client. Wow, that is clever. That is clever. I like now, it. Uh, I think you know you, you you would. So on the the screen and in the show notes, you're going to have the invite URL that you need. So for now, this is invitation only. But because I've got an account, I can invite um, a number of people. So please click on the link, join Fathom, do some tests with your Zoom calls and your customers. I've done it, Johnny, and I am completely converted. Plus, it's such a lovely surprise for your clients to get those meeting notes. In, in, in the way it's organized. It's just wonderful. 
Now, very, very quickly, to close on video meetings and, and audio conversation, I wanted to mention something called Glide Apps. So it's back to first impressions, back to surprising your customers and enhancing the experience. If you have already um, a podcast, if you have already in the habit of creating content, providing value and so on, you might want to impress your customers by having your own app. And all you have to do is add the information on Google Sheets, which is their version of uh, Microsoft Excel, and then go on glideapps.com and find a, a template Mostly, um, they are free that can convert that data from the spreadsheet into an app. I've just brought on on screen for for our viewers some examples. It could be a simple CRM. It could be actually putting together a a display of your services. It could be combining, uh, Johnny, your top performing uh, podcast episode that people can always find uh, on the app. They have a lovely um, kind of templates library where you can go from finance to HR to um, uh, hobbies and fun local business and so on. The one that really, really impressed me the most was the uh, the booking of meetings. But also, if you're doing, for example, a networking event and you're hosting it locally, you can literally create an app for free for people to network, connect each other before, during and after the event as well. It's just absolutely amazing. So glideapps.com is definitely one, th- one look at, worth looking into as well. These are, these are brilliant. We've got Lee, Sco- Lee Scorey uh, on LinkedIn. Thanks for being there. He's asked, uh, will there be a crib sheet available afterwards with all of these tab links? The short answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> they will be in the show notes. They'll be on the LinkedIn comments uh, uh, shortly after the live. So yes, we're going to make this easy for you that you'll just be able to click through to all of these amazing tech and apps that Pascal and Roger have found over the last month or so in their own podcast and delighted that they're sharing it as a mini series on mine today uh, and every month so we've covered uh, the planning and coming up with new ideas we've covered improving impact of written and visual content we've covered improving the impact of online meetings last but not least in our first impressions and enhancing customer experience it's the tracking results. Yeah, section. before before we have fun with the random selection, let's make sure that you know all the hard work or all these additional features is kind of providing the results for you. So in addition to the expected ways to track results that you will have already in place, all of you, perhaps a few options to consider. The first one is Talk Walker and um, for slash alerts. So this is tracking the reaction of your good work on not just social media, but also essentially other websites and other blogs. So are people paying attention? Are they sharing? Are they commenting? Are they literally, without telling you, passing it on to their networks, to onto different forums and so on? So talkwalker.com forward slash alerts, I think is a great addition, Johnny, to the usual analytics and, and other things that you'll have. Um, one that I wanted to mention literally is called mentionapp.com. And this is looking very much at listening to even more discreet ways in which people can be making reference to you. And the, the, the good thing about mention is like you can set up the account using your name as an individual, the name as the business. Maybe if you have some very specific products and programs where you've come up with a clever labeling, you can also use that platform in addition to the others to keep track of what's happening when it's mentioned more discreetly across social media and, and the web. Um, We mustn't, of course, forget about the Google Search Console. And I know that from a PR point of view, Google Analytics always seems to to kind of take the, the spotlight, Johnny, but Google Search Console, to my mind, is even more helpful to small businesses and helps you make better decisions and, and track, indeed, whether your uh, efforts in creating better first impressions and customer experience is working for you. I also yeah. wanted to mention, please go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to say Search Console. I mean, you know, the great thing about Search Console is you're seeing the data well before Google Analytics. So you're seeing what Google thinks of your website and what it's showing you for, what it's ranking you for, how many times it's showing. And more importantly, it tells you the click-through rate. You know, are people actually clicking on your links uh, and, and visiting your site? So yeah, I, I'm really glad to see that in the uh, in the list today, Pascal. No problem at all. So one thing that um, my customers have reported back to me when they start using platforms like TalkWalker, Mention, and even Google Search Console, they, they rediscover content that is so incredibly old or from a different uh, life altogether or into the business has moved on. It doesn't do that service, but it's still listed 
on the Google search results. And sometimes, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I had a case where I wrote an article for a magazine and that was listed number one for years on end. It was as though I'd done nothing else but write that one article. So uh, Google has, uh, about a month or so um, ago, have um, pulled together a video about the right to be forgotten. And if you look for this on, on YouTube, and again, the link will be in the show notes, you know, requesting content removals under the right to be forgotten. So here's the point. If you discover something that is no longer relevant or a distraction or you know, in hindering the progress of your campaign, you can request for that content to be removed from the search results. It will be removed from the interweb, as I have to call it fondly, but certainly it can avoid that kind of confused search engine results page if you believe that that's not quite right for you. So I thought it would be a nice one to add before we move on to our random selection. Well, without further ado, I <laughs> think it is time for the random selection. This is a fun one because I never know where to put them, but I, I like them. Roger always impresses me with, with um, what he discovers as well. So the first one is uh, Music Magpie. And this is random because I've been using it a lot to make more room for more stuff that I don't need. And the whole point here is use of, of experience. Back to the subject of today. So if you don't know Music Magpie, you open it through your account, you link into a bank account, and literally you can scan with their app the barcode of your DVDs, your tech, your books, your CDs, and so on. And the sheer convenience and the speed at which you know they take care of you is really quite an example and, and, and quite impressed because there are other brands out there that will take your goods off you secondhand, but nobody so far, to my mind, is doing it as well and making it so painless as Music Magpie. So here's one for you. Um, the next one is all to do with uh, actually you, the individual, creating good first impression, creating better experience. And I think we all need to create, as you know, our own media CV to become a guest on a podcast or indeed a, an event. Flowcv.io, flow, F-L-O-W-C-V, then .io, created actually by a software engineer, is just amazing. I know that there are options to do so on, on Canva, but actually this is even better. So what you have is on the left-hand side of your web page, you have the, the boxes to fill in, which are essentially not particularly inspiring, but live in real time on the right-hand side of your, of your web page, you've got your online CV being populated with the information and coming alive. And you can change templates, you can change uh, you know, boxes in, in terms of positions and so on. And within moments, you can have a very, very kind of impactful profile which can be used in my line of work, of course, in content marketing to be booked as a guest on a blog, on a podcast or in an event. So flowcv.io, uh, I'm just amazed with it. And, uh, you know, again, done and created by just an individual working as a software engineer. So that's just wonderful. The next thing for me was around uh, learning, remembering, or sometimes stimulating conversations with customers. So Roger came across this uh, mobile phone app for the uh, for the iPhone called Quizlet, Learn with Flashcards. So what you do is you download the app, and in advance, you create flashcards. In advance, you create kind of quizzes and so on, and you can share that with others, and therefore could just stimulate you know, interaction, group work, and of course, that can be done remotely. So you could have a Zoom call, but people are using Quizlet as part of the proceedings and the experience. And then finally, this is a great discovery from Roger, a video diary app called One Second Every Day. So as an name would indicate, what you do with the app is that you create a video diary by either going back into your mobile phone photo and video library and stitch together a um, you know the month that was, let's just talk about uh, March, for example, and one second a day, you know, going back through your diary, you can create a little video diary or you can do it live. So every day you grab your phone and you record a one second video that by the end of April will be stitched together into a, a vlog, a video message that can be shared with your teams, with your clients and of course with your customers. So this was new to me until a few days ago. I have downloaded the app, Johnny, and my very first video on the 1st of April would be you and I live on StreamYard. Oh. 
Fantastic. I feel honoured. <laughs> uh, I've seen uh, One Second uh, video before, and I, it's really clever. Uh, one Second Every Day, isn't it? Uh, mm. Really, really clever, and uh, and like it a lot. Uh, Helen Morell joined us. She says, hooray, random selection is her favourite part. Well, there we go. <laughs> it's uh, mine as well. It's mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's brilliant. We've covered uh, 20 of the top tech and app, uh, and, and uh, marketing apps for sort of first impressions and enhancing customer experience. I can see Pascal taking a picture of us right now to uh, to add to his one second uh, every day. Um, and uh, we covered the planning, the coming up with uh, new ideas, improving impact, improving online meetings, tracking results. And then, of course, we had our random selection. So thanks so much, Pascal, for sharing a delightful box of treats. No, it's my pleasure. And you know, you know, put yourself a, a bit of a challenge. Say, can we do this in the short space of time? Can we do it as a bit of a lunch and learn experience for people live or watching it and listening to it? And I'm looking at, at the time we spend. It seems to be about right. But listen, everybody, please send us your, your feedback. Also, suggestions or requests, because as I mentioned, Roger and I have been looking at marketing tech and apps now for the better part of a year and a half to two years. We've looked at more than 250 and we'll just come to you every month with our selection of the top 20. It's it's brilliant. Love it. Uh, we've got some thank yous uh, from uh, our Facebook audience and uh, LinkedIn as well. Uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for, if you've been watching, thank you. If you've been listening, thank you. Please subscribe, leave comments, let us know what you thought. Let us know any tech or, or, or apps that you're using yeah. that we think we should be including or anything that's jumped out for you today that you're going to be using. But I think that is all for now. Pascal, thank you so much. We'll you're look welcome. forward to listening to you on Two Marketing's, two, uh, two Geeks and a Marketing Podcast. Uh, and um, uh, I look forward to hearing you in our next mini series as well. Excellent. Bye, everyone. Thanks very much. Take care. See you all soon. And I'll find my out video. There it is. See you soon.